Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna cover the difference between a Y wind and a Delta wind. This is the termination of the winds within a brushless motor. And we're specifically going to be dialing into only the KV and the KT value of our brushless motor. KV being the RPM per volt and KT being our torque constant of our motor. Now I'm hoping that this is gonna be my much shorter video. I have a little bit of a jaw issue happening here. Let's dive right into it and talk about the termination of these winds. So every brushless motor has to have all of the windings terminated on one end, and that could be the speed control. However, there's another end to all those wires, and that is the termination point that is very critical to when it comes to the ratio between what happens when you do one thing versus another type of termination. That ultimately affects the KV value of the motor as well as the KT value of the motor. Now here is what your typical delta wind configuration looks like and here is what your typical Y wind configuration looks like. So you can see the difference in the winds there on both of them and that what is what makes up the difference when we talk about the actual specifications of our brushless motor. When we're talking about the difference in KV between a Y wind as well as a delta wind, that difference is going to be the square root of three. That works out to just over 1.7. That is the theoretical number on what we should see in terms of the RPM per volt from both of those motors. Now the motor that has the higher RPM per volt is going to be the delta wind. It is also going to pull more current than the Y wind as well. Now flipping over to the KT value of the brushless motor, this is something that is quite important. It is the torque constant that actually is able to increase as the KV decreases. It's not the actual torque output of the motor that increases or decreases. The same size motor can produce the exact same amount of torque as long as it's correctly set up. If the KV value is 1000 for your Y wind, your delta wind is going to have approximately a KV value of 1700. Now if the torque constant of a brushless motor happened to be one on that delta wound motor, your torque constant for the other motor would be 1.7 times higher than that, so 1.7. That is gonna be how many units of torque it can provide per every amp that is drawn from that motor. Because a delta wound motor is going to produce more RPM per volt, you are also going to expect that this type of motor draws a lot more current. And that is how it is able to keep up with the amount of torque that the motor with a lower KV value is. Here's a motor chart that I've prepared. I've taken only a couple motor manufacturers and several models from each. And you can see that the actual ratio from delta divided by the Y wind KV actually works out to a ratio of 1.8 as high as over 1.9. So you can see that does not exactly match what we have there in terms of the theory that we are expecting. And that is reality for us. If you want to know more about your favorite motor manufacturer, take a look at the specifications and do the exact same chart here where you just simply divide one value by the other value and get that ratio. Now one thing to note is that the KV of the motor that you're holding can actually deviate from the specification sheet that you're looking at. Now the best way to take the ratio of two different wines is to go ahead and measure the KV of each one of them. A link of video in the description below that shows you exactly how you can measure the KV of your brushless motor. And then if you take both of those numbers and divide them by each other, you'll also get that same ratio. That pretty well covers it for this video. Like the video if you do, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that I can see you in that next one. See you next Monday.